and welcome to my channel. I'm Claire and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite uses for the Pink Stuff. The Pink Stuff is a cleaner that has really changed my life and the way that I clean. It's made everything so much easier. I mean, I couldn't imagine having to clean an oven without having the Pink Stuff. Like, how did I ever do it before? If you're new here, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. I post two new videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Share lots of mum content and cleaning and reviews and hauls, hacks, tips, you name it. They're all on my channel. So if that sounds something that might interest you, do have a think and consider subscribing. And this is Leo. You will see him all over my channel. He is a big part of it. And he's actually what motivated me to start it. So... Yeah, we'd love to have you. So, one use for the pink stuff is cleaning shoes. So what you want is you want a toothbrush and of course the pink stuff. So this is the after, nice and clean. You want to remove the laces because when I did, it was really dirty in there. And this is the before. They were so dirty, like we used these every single day at the beach and all of that. And now, I feel like it's not obviously brand new, but it looks a lot better than the other. So this is what it looks like when you take the laces out. There's a lot of dirt that gets under them that you don't realise because the laces hide it, which is good. So yep, there's the difference. So that's this one all clean as well now. So this is an antique spoon. It used to belong to my great grandmother and from time to time it just gets really grubby and quite dull. And one thing I've noticed is that the pink stuff really does work at making it super shiny. Like I used to use like silver polish but the pink stuff has totally taken over and it just is the best. So I'm going to be completely honest with you and we haven't cleaned these skirtings since we moved in. We didn't bother cleaning them when we moved in and they weren't exactly perfect. So I thought it's about time, we've been living here for quite some time now, let's have a go at cleaning the skirtings. And I was really worried about doing this but they came up amazingly well. So again, these marks have been here since we moved in. They're from the previous tenants. We're not quite sure what caused these horrible marks, but as well, the windows are something that get quite dirty and mouldy anyway. So after mould treating them, I thought it's time that I tackle them with the pink stuff. And you'll see at the end exactly how good the pink stuff cleaned it. So this is the side that I have cleaned. And this is the side that I haven't cleaned. There is a massive difference the two. Now we are all clean. Ta da! I don't know what these are. I think they're like stains or scratches in the paint because that's not coming off. Okay, next I wanted to talk about those kind of rainbowy or sometimes white marks that you get in a pot. And no matter how hard you scrub them and no matter how much soap you use, they seem to be quite stubborn and they don't go away. Well, the pink stuff is one of those things that really just totally gets rid of those rainbow marks and any white kind of, I don't even know what it is. It's like maybe starch that gets stuck to the bottom of your pan. And this made this really old pan look brand new. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I don't know what I would do when it comes to cleaning the oven without the pink stuff. So the glass of my oven is always very dark and brown and I think it's just from burnt on moisture. But the pink stuff always brings up the glass inside the oven amazingly well and it's always super shiny. <laughs> Ooh. 
Next is the bottom of pans. This is actually a new pan that I just got recently, but when I was doing pancake day, some oil got burnt at the bottom and it just totally ruined the, the, the pan. And I was like really upset as it wasn't exactly a cheap pan and it's one of my favorites. So I used the pink stuff. It wasn't perfect. And those marks you can see is just reflection. It's not actually marked, but it was really, really a lot better than what it was. So I was quite happy with the outcome. This is also wear, tear and dirt from previous tenants. I have tried cleaning this with other sprays, but nothing seems to have got it off. So I thought I'd give the pink stuff a go. And I would normally use the pink stuff on little nooks and crannies like this anyway. The bits of mold that you get in the shower and stuff is really good for all those reasons. But this stuff is really, really stubborn on this handle and I don't think it's gonna come off. I think to be honest, the handle could do with being replaced. Every two weeks I use the pink stuff to clean down the sink. You get a few watermarks and soap scum and all that lovely stuff. Also any scratches that may have got on the sink, this really takes it off as well. And afterwards it leaves the sink shining like amazingly, like you have a new sink, it's really nice. I always use the pink stuff on our hobs. We get these really annoying burnt on marks and they're so hard to get off. But with the pink stuff, I literally just have to run it over with this Spontex scrubbies thing. so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed watching and that you found this helpful and that it's also inspired you of some ways that you could use the pink stuff there is not a stain that the pink stuff cannot get off in and maybe you figured out a new way to use it leave me a comment down below what you think and i will see you in my next one bye hi oh you're so sweet <laughs> hey.